the inverted depiction the readers of sri raghavendra mahimai either write to me or get in touch with me over phone giving their feedback about my writing many a time in appreciative terms and expressing the hope that the serialized writing would continue unceasingly some readers while praising the efforts of the artist sri shashi for his marvelous pencil work have in a polite way drawn my attention to the namas on the shoulders of sri raghavendra swami pointing out that they should have been drawn upwards and not in the inverted manner as depicted in sri raghavendra mahimai publications in fact the layachitra artist sri sashi draws only whatever i explain to him that way the namas have also been drawn in the manner indicated by me which in fact is the correct way of application of the gopi chandana namas i had informed those who had mentioned this as an impropriety in the depiction of the namas in the picture of sri raghavendra that i would be writing about gopi chandana in one of the volumes and the matter raised would be dealt with in that context the time for it has come now and the devout ones can get their doubts clarified in the explications that follow and benefit out of the application of gopi chandana in the proper way the marking of the dwadasha namas with gopi chandana is quite simple and easy about 5 minutes only is required for it with concentration of the mind generally the application of namas is done as a routine exercise by most while only a few have proper knowledge of it but it needs no elucidation that if marked in the proper way the benefit to accrue will also enhance how the application of the namas has to be done in the orthodox way is indicated below step by step for the guidance of those unfamiliar with it the pictorial illustration in this chapter exhibits the numerals 1 to 14 and how the nama indicated by its numerical sign is to be applied on one's person is explained below seriatim as the first step gopi chandana should be held in the right hand and the in the left palm a small quantity of water is to be held and the gopi chandana must be mixed in it and made into a paste in that wetness those doing the shalagrama puja should mix gopi chandana in the nirmalya abhishega teetha the religious markings with gopi chandana should be applied in the manner described below one the gopi chandana paste held in the left palm should be scooped up with the right forefinger and applied at the center of the forehead the finger movement running upwards from bottom to top the utterance keshavaya namaha should be simultaneously articulated while marking the nama there should be no downward movement of the finger and the marking should be straight like a danda a religious staff second the second nama must be at the center of the stomach the bottom segment of which should be broad and tapering in its width upwards and ending angularly like the flame of a still and motionless lamp narayana namaha should be articulated while marking this nama 3 uttering madhavaya namaha a nama like the lotus blood lotus bud should be applied at the center of the chest it is said that sri anjaneya to reveal his ram bhakti had opened out his chest and the ram sita image could be seen in his heart in most pictures depicting sri raghavendra to sri rama's image may be seen to be portrayed in the nama on his chest at the center of the neck a small streak should be marked pronouncing govindaya namaha five on the right side of the belly a nama like the flame of a lamp as mentioned earlier should be applied articulating vishnuve namaha six on the right shoulder such application should be from top to bottom tapering downwards uttering madhusudanaya namaha in that process 
in our publications the nama in this part of the body features like what is mentioned above in the pictures they carry whereas in other portrayals it's generally not so they are shown in an inverted fashion at that spot it was this disparity that many readers had pointed out and it was nothing wrong on their part to have done that since they have been accum- accustomed to that way of application of the nama at that spot of the body at that spot on the body it's my hope that they will switch over to the correct style from now onwards the nama to be marked on the shoulder should resemble a bidaru or bamboo leaf the justification for this kind of marking is that the bamboo leaf sprouts in that manner conformably with the law of mother nature 7 on the right side of the neck a small streak should be marked uttering trivikramaya namaha 8 on the left side of the stomach running from bottom to top a marking like a flame indicated earlier should be placed uttering vamanaya namaha 9 articulating sridharaya namaha the left shoulder marking should be applied like a bamboo leaf tapering from top to bottom 10 on the left side of the neck a small streak should be marked uttering hrishikeshaya namaha 11 next at the back in the bottom segment of the spinal column a small streak should be applied uttering padmanabhaya namaha 12 at the back of the neck below the head a small mark should be placed pronouncing damodraya namaha these 12 markings or the dwadasha namas which warrant the articulation of divine names while applying them in their respective places with gopi chandana visualizing the picture furnished here the number and the spots for the marking could be memorized thus 1 2 3 and 4 will be in a straight line while 5 6 and 7 will be to the right of those and 8 9 10 10 and 10 to the left 11 and 12 will be at the back 13 a marking at the top of the head should be done uttering vasudevaya namaha 14 on the chest adjacent to the lotus bud like marking with a slight slant a nama with broad bottom tapering upwards and ending angularly has to be applied uttering keshavaya namaha in a similar way on the left side too this could be exhibited the important ones however are the dwadasha name namas indicated by numbers 1 to 12 the utterance of the divine namas commencing from keshavaya namaha and ending with damodraya namaha is prescribed for the waxing period of the moon during the waning period 1 shankarshanaya namaha 2 vasudevaya namaha 3 pradyumnaya namaha Four, Aniruddhaaye Namaha. Five, Purushottamaaye Namaha. Six, Adokshajaaye Namaha. Seven, Sri Narasimhaaye Namaha. Eight, Achyutaaye Namaha. Nine, Janardhanaaye Namaha. Ten, Upendraaye Namaha. Eleven, Sri Hariye Namaha. Twelve, Sri Krishnaaye Namaha. Are the divine na- namas to be pronounced? while putting on the religious namas with gopi chandana in the manner indicated earlier these namas as already said will be of benefit not only to the one sporting those but also to those citing the person sporting such namas apart from marking the namas pancha mudras also are to be applied on one's person and what they are and how they should be used for the intended purpose are described next